Hi everyone, we are going to be making uh, coils out of newspapers and we're going to roll together uh, these, they're actually kind of like a quilling technique. Um, and we're going to be rolling pieces of magazines together and um, adding and adding to the point where we get a roll of newspapers just like this, where we can pop them out and create a bowl. And my idea with this, so it's a little bit on the Easter theme side, is to use these and make a Easter basket that I could hold maybe candy or hold um, maybe a couple Easter eggs and maybe some, and we can even add a little handle and maybe some, uh, uh, some paper flowers to it so it looks a little more festive and we're also going to be painting it so it looks nice as well. I actually have uh, one I made years ago in my classroom. Um, I've had it for years and I keep little knickknacks in it, pens and different things, little you know push pens, uh, paper clips, that kind of stuff. So this is kind of a fun uh, activity. It's more of a craft than necessarily an art piece. Uh, but you could, there is a lot of artists that create um, art using recycled materials and that's what we're going to be doing today. Actually, this is one that's been glued together. So some of the materials you're going to need, we're going to need a good stack of magazines. I have tons of magazines. Newspapers could probably work too if you happen to have any newspaper pages. The reason why magazines work really well is because the pages of the magazine are really thin and it makes for rolling a little bit easier. Um, you are also going to want maybe some kind of um, car piece of cardboard. This cardboard was cut an inch thick and I use these for rolling the pieces of or the pages of magazine evenly each time. So you can see here this is ex all of these are exactly the same width and that I use this to get that width consistent for every single page. So I would recommend taking, finding a piece of cardboard, cutting at least an inch across, um, and so you can use it for rolling. Um, you are going to need some, uh, uh, some glue. You can use the glue to close up or to finish off each, each roll and to also start adding it to your, um, to your rolled newspaper bowl. Um, and, or you could use tape to do that as well. Tape works as well. However, you are gonna need glue to finish up the bowl and make it where it can't, it's stiff and won't move. So either wet glue, regular Elmer's glue, or a Mod Podge works really well for that. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna show you the basic process on how to roll the pages and also start the base of your bowl and then you guys are going to work 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 until you get a big enough um uh enough magazine rolls where you've got something this size or even bigger you can get really big with these as long as they are tightly um uh taped together or glued together all right i'm gonna put this stuff other stuff to the side i'm gonna put my tape and glue up top got my pages got my cardboard piece i have a couple here I like to have extra and I'm going to grab a page just like this you want it to be kind of diagonal or like a diamond and you want the the piece of cardboard to sit where a little bit of the corner of the page hangs out and then you're going to flip and hold and use this to roll so I'm using so first thing I do is fold the newspaper around to the cardboard and then pick up the cardboard and start rolling the cardboard. As I roll, sometimes I press to make sure the page is getting at least a little bit of a crease. And I'm going to keep going nice and tight until I get to the end where I can add a little dab of glue and I can finish up the roll. And then after I finish up the roll, I'm going to pull out the cardboard see just like that and then I'm going to press now I like to use something to push and press down the piece of magazine so it's nice and flat and I like to do a bunch of these first so I'm going to do a couple here to kind of get myself going
and you can continue once you have all your materials you can also work on your own you're going to need quite a few of these make sure you also can see your cardboard if you notice my cardboard is way in there and so it's really hard to get it out so i want to make sure my cardboard is hanging out of the newspaper or the magazine a little bit so that i can pull and grab it out Just a dot, not a lot. You can see I have enough newspaper or cardboard hanging out that I can just pull it right on out. And then I'm going to either press with my fingers or with a marker or scissors or something like that. I'm gonna keep making. Right. Once you have a bunch of pages, you can start the bottom of your boa, the coil, which is going to create the bottom of the bowl. So I'm going to take one of these strips, put that over here, and the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to use a, you can either use a toothpick, or this is a dowel stick, or you can just carefully roll. So one thing you could do is you can fold the end and keep folding real small. You might need a little bit of help from your parent for this step and just keep folding real gently, okay? Another way you could do this is to stick a dowel stick in there so it gives you something to grip and start rolling the dowel strip and rolling it around the stick until you kind of get a little bit started. And once you get a little bit of a coil going, paper coil, you can pull out the stick and I like to grab it, pinch it with my fingers like this and roll, see? Or you can roll like this. It's whatever works for you. Okay, and I'm gonna keep, cause what I can do is I can feel the paper. I'm sort of either putting it, pushing it this way or that way to make it even so it's nice and flat, at least on one side. And I'm gonna keep rolling. And again, for this first step, until you guys get going, you might need a little bit of parent help, especially for my young students. There we go. Also besides, um, you could use strips of construction paper instead of magazine uh, colored paper. I would cut each strip of construction paper about a inch thick and then roll them. It is going to take a lot more paper to do that because it's gonna be thin, very thin strips. Um, and where this, by rolling it, it gives us sort of a thicker strip so it doesn't take as much to get a pretty good size coil here. All right, now once I get to the end, I can either take a little piece of tape and tape the end. I'm gonna do that, or I can take a little bit of the glue to put a little dab and hold it for a minute so it sticks. I'm gonna use the tape just because it will ensure that it will stick and not move. There we go, see? And then I'm going to take another piece and I'm going to tape or glue it on. I want it to go the same direction that I started my coil. So my coil is going this way, going down. So I want the end to connect with that. So I continue to go downward. So I, I want to keep wrapping it in a spiral, going all the same direction if possible. All right, so I'm going to take a little bit of this. And this time, just for the sake of the example, I'm going to take a little bit of glue and do glue instead. And do a little bit of glue. It's a little sticky, but that's okay. You can wipe it on your messy mat if you need to. And keep rolling. I can roll it this way, nice and tight. 
or I can hold it between my fingers and roll this way. Whatever works. And you're gonna keep going until you get a really nice thick. You're gonna keep building and building and building until it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. All right. I'm gonna leave this flap a little open like this. Maybe put a little dab of glue to help it out. You can use tape, like I said, or glue. The only thing about glue is you kind of have to wait for it to stick a little bit before you can let it go, or it might come loose. So sometimes the tape is a little bit better on this, on that particular way. I'm gonna keep adding to this. Again, I can use tape or glue. I'll use tape this time. So you can see I'm just switching back and forth just to show you that you can use either one. It all works pretty good. I will say you won't have to wait for tape to dry, so that's helpful. And you're going to keep going. Another little tip, if you go ahead and tear several pieces of tape, put it on the side of your table, something that will not damage it. You know, any kind of table that won't damage, it'll stick on there. You have a whole bunch of pieces of tape, and then you can take it off and stick. Roll, take it off and stick. Roll, and that way you have kind of like a little system going. So I'm going to try and make sure you try and keep your coil nice and tight. If it's too loose, it will not be, uh, it might not, it might fall apart. So you wanna be really careful. You wanna make sure you're really holding this thing tight. If you need to take a break, what you wanna do is you wanna roll up that coil till you get to the end and tape it, tape it closed, just like this. And then you can leave it and save it for later and keep going a little later on. So you could work on this thing for a little while, come back to it, stop and go, and really keep building and making it big, big, big. Okay. So put that there for a moment so you can see the size difference. And this one, it seems like I've got is much tighter than the first time I when I did this one. When you are done rolling all the magazines, adding it to your coil, making your coil bigger and bigger. I'm gonna put this aside. I'm gonna hold on to this and probably add to it a little later on. <clears throat> but when you get to the point where you feel like you have done enough, now I will tell you this, I could add more to this and I could make this much bigger. Um, but it really is based on how big you want your bowl to be. So, but I'm going to use as an example and go ahead and start talking about um, turning this into a bowl. So the first thing we're going to do is you are going to push and pop out the type of bowl shape you want. Now you can have it very deep by really lifting up on the sides like this. You could have it pretty deep. You could have it a little bit of a thinner bowl by pushing more up. Or you could have a slightly wider bowl, bowl by pushing just a little bit up. I like the wider bowl and I would probably if I had a little more time but I want to do this for the example. I would keep adding to um, adding to this to make it wider. If you want this to be a really wide bowl, you want to keep adding. But for now, I'm just going to work with what I got. All right, so I'm going to stop right here. And you want to look and see if you like the design. And I'm trying to keep my, my layers pretty even. And then you're gonna take some glue. Now you can take Mod Podge or you can use regular Elmer's glue. I'm gonna grab a paper bowl and maybe a sponge, one of these sponge things or an old paintbrush that I don't care if it gets destroyed or not. And I'm going to add some of the glue or Mod Podge, whichever you have, and dip into it. Now you could Add a little bit of water to thin out the glue, making it more um, of a looser glue. And you're gonna add in and 
you want to put lots of glue so that, that the layers will stick together. Might even go so far as to pop it a little bit, kind of like this. Do some gluing. So I can get that glue thick on there and into the layer. So I'm popping it upward the inside so I can get it kind of on the edges of the inside of my layers. And then I'm going to push it in that way and kind of glue and add a little bit. I might even pop this side up a little bit and get some glue in there. And then push it. And then I'm going to have to be careful. And then I'm going to add a little bit on the edge, a little more on the edge. <clears throat> really, I'm just putting enough glue so it'll really stick and not really move too much. And I am getting glue on my fingers, but that's okay. And I'm going to keep adding some more glue so these will kind of stick well together. And on the outside, I'll add some glue, kind of shellacking it because when I paint, then it won't <clears throat> seep into the magazine as much, wetting the magazine. So if I put a little more kind of like a glue shellac, it means a layer of glue that creates a barrier so if wet, when I paint this, the wet paint won't soften the newspaper too much. So I'm going to do this whole thing, shellacking it good, getting a nice good layer of Mod Podge or regular glue. And then when I'm done, done, I'm going to find it a safe spot to dry. All right, I'm going to leave this here. Now, <clears throat> if you're using Mod Podge or glue, before this gets dry, you can go wash it out and reuse it. So you might want to do that just in case, you know, I'm big on not wasting and trying to reuse. And that's kind of what this uh, craft is about, or this art project is about, is about reusing and recycling. Okay, after your bowl dries. I have a bowl, a dry example right here. Kind of overdid the glue a little bit, but that's okay because we're gonna be painting and you won't even notice it. I'm grabbing some craft paint. You wanna use uh, acrylic because it will coat the best on our bowls. Or you can just leave it as it is and let the magazine um, color show or you can take and I'm reusing that sponge I cleaned it up you can take the acrylic and go over and paint you might want to do a couple layers to make the more solid the more layers you place the more solid the color will be and I love a purple so that's why I chose purple Glue, barely even notice, it's just really nice and thick, but that's okay because the paint kind of hides that a little bit. I'm going to grab, I really don't want to get, even though my messy mat is a little dirty, I do want to kind of save and preserve it a little bit, so I'm going to use this. little cracks and crevices and I might need to let this dry a little bit and do maybe another layer 
course, you can pause this video and work on whichever step you choose and skip a lot around to the parts of the video that you are most important. I like that. Now, one other thing you could do is you could make something else you could do is you could make a handle if you want this to look like an Easter basket. I made a thinner um, piece of cardboard and rolled uh, the magazine so it's a little thicker. And you could take this and glue it on to make a basket. Now I would layer I would layer multiple strips and glue them together to kind of thicken this up just a little bit. So maybe glue two strips together like that and then bend and glue on to the basket like that if you want it to look like an Easter basket. So that is an option for your, your magazine coil bowls. And I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry a little bit. So we have that, and this one's drying still, it's a little wet. The last thing you could do after your bowl, when after you put the first layer of paint, you could go in and you can grab a little more paint and decorate it some more. Maybe decorate it a little more. I'll put a little white. Maybe make a lighter green. And take a paintbrush. And maybe add, you can add some, you could do flowers, you could do patterns. So I can put a pattern on my bowl. Maybe something like this. Now you can be creative with how you go about painting on your bowls. If you have any like any craft supplies like beads or you know how sometimes they have the little gems um, or sequins or glitter. You could take, um, put some glue on here and make it real glittery if you want to do that. Um, it is really, you could really be creative with how you decorate these bowls. I'm just using just regular acrylic paint and um, I could even mix my colors to make new colors if I need to for something a little different or a variety. Uh, in my value of color. So I'm going to stop here. I'm going to let you guys uh, start building and creating. Remember, we just a little quick review. We start with our coil. We start building it up until we get big enough. When we get big enough, we pop it out and we use glue to shellac it already. See, it's not really moving too much. So a lot more firm. And then after it is done and it's well shellacked with glue and glued together so it doesn't move, then you can paint with acrylic paint or leave as is. And then also what I suggested was putting some, um, any kind of craft supplies, if you have any flowers or beads or anything like that, glitter, you can decorate it with any of those. Um, I hope you enjoy. I hope you have fun. I would love to see any pictures if you create uh, any coil bowls with paper magazines. I would love to see pictures and I would love to see you share them with me. All right, guys, have fun creating and I will see you next time. Bye.